Welcome to the Amuna Project, where it doesn't matter what your religious background is or where you're coming from, but whether or not you are seeking the truth, and that's what we're all here for. So on my personal uh, Facebook page, we've been discussing the idea of a 40-day no complaints challenge. We're doing our best to not have any complaints for 40 days in a row. And uh, that's a real difficult task. I know somebody who um, actually said that it took them six months of restart, restart, restart uh, before they could possibly get to 40 days without complaining. And that is extremely high. Like, I can't believe that somebody could actually make it when I think about <laughs> myself and how much I complain. So in the thread where we're discussing this on my personal Facebook page, a friend of mine says, um, I'm sure I have to start over constantly, like every day, um, especially if I'm not feeling well or if I'm extremely exhausted and tired and whatever. And you know, Reb Nachman says that he is renewed, he's rebirthed every moment. Like you can claim that you can just say like, look, I am a new uh, birth right now. I've had a rebirth and the past is the past and what matters is I'm going to go forward. So whenever we have those complaints, we're trying to make that challenge. We're trying to make it happen to where we're not complaining. But whenever we do complain and we catch ourselves, we want to not fall into any type of depression and say, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this, right? No, we want the opposite. We want to be able to say, I am starting anew right now and I am so thankful for everything in my life. Um, listen, I think a big key to not complaining is going to be to have a foundation of emunah. To have a foundation of saying, God creates everything. He has only good in mind and he is doing only good for me. Therefore, this situation that I don't perceive as apparently good is actually for my good. And whenever I can do that, then I will have a lot less complaining happening because I'll go, oh, this is actually good. This is for my benefit because I believe that the creator of the universe is only doing good for me. Now, my friend also says, they're striving daily to see the good and guard their thoughts and words so stuff doesn't just fly out, right? And it's a hard, hard road. So 100%, we are, we are together in that difficult struggle. But the fact that you are struggling in that is good news. If you weren't struggling, then Hashem's not working with you. Like there's no voice to say, hey, this is a problem, right? <laughs> there, there's something there that's saying, hey, this isn't right. And you are working on yourself to change and God sees that change. And by you enlivening that from below, he's going to give you that help from above and we're going to get there to where we're not a complaining people. And look, it's not that you are a complainer. Do not think of yourself as a complainer. We have a habit of complaining. So if we can stop the habit and break the habit, I mean, it only takes 30 days to break a habit, maybe 40. You see where we're coming from? How about a 40 days of no complaints and we will be new people? So my friend says, I'm learning to hold my tongue. And it feels like through the fail more failure than success and trying to learn to celebrate the success, even the small steps and changing the reaction and attitude following, following a failure. Such wisdom in that, to be able to say, I had uh, a failure in my challenge, but I'm going to realize that that's a failure and I'm gonna celebrate success. Like, it might even be, I went an hour without complaining, thank God. <laughs> like, maybe we have to get to that spot where we say, I went a full hour without complaining. And then maybe we end up going a full hour saying thank you. Wouldn't that be amazing? All right, you guys, let's stay on target, do our absolute best to not complain and to only see 
the good. May you all be well.